What is going on, guys? Taylor Stuber with LocksDFS.com bringing my locks and sleepers for this Thursday, October 25th, four game NBA slate. Appreciate all the kind words that you guys have been giving me in the comments and uh, all my new followers on Twitter. Like I said, if you guys follow me on Twitter, want to DM me, uh, lineup questions, ask me 1v1s, or just tweet me directly, I'm more than willing to help you guys uh, make some decisions for your lineups. I, uh, I I was reading my DMs this morning after helping you guys last night, and a lot of people thought, or a lot of people told me that I was. I gave them good advice and that they were winning money last night, so that was uh, awesome to see. Um, we still are running that giveaway, so all you have to do is subscribe and then comment below with your favorite play of the day. And this Sunday, we will select a winner to win a um, a season pass, whether it be NBA, NFL, NHL, to LockCFS.com. They're about $250, and it's completely free to enter, so why not? Um, good value. All, all Free stuff is always nice, so... We're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers before weekend week's end, so let's see if we can do it. Anyways, uh, so this slate is kind of weird. Um, there's since it's only four games, you got you kind of have to hit the nails to uh, win tournaments and stuff. But the games are kind of weird in the sense that this Detroit uh, Cleveland game yesterday we saw Cleveland get absolutely destroyed by the Nets um and now that they're traveling to Detroit against a much better Detroit team who, who's pretty good on defense um and play in place at a pace down rate uh compared to Cleveland Cleveland the only really real chance they have is playing a high paced game and hopefully they beat them um in a high scoring game but that's not going to work against a team like Detroit so I am expecting a blow, and so so is Vegas. Uh, they started at six and a half point favorites, and now they're already up to eight point favorites. So out of this game, I really do. I I like Reggie Jackson in his new role. Uh, him having minutes now, um, he's pretty safe to play into the thirties, um, and he's only like five point eight k on DraftKings, I believe. I think that's a really good value. Uh, he's five point seven k, but there's other guys in that range that I like a lot more. Um, I think I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up with like six players from this this Denver Lakers game, um, but it, you're gonna have to make a decision today because there's no value on the slate. The only value I really see is like Tory Craig um, or maybe Lance Stevenson, but um, it seems pretty chasey to me to to chase a guy like Lance Stevenson who came off a great game in a blowout, played those blowout minutes. Um, kind of skews what um, his actual production was um, because I think the goal of mine um, it, it would be to fit Westbrook and Jokic both into my lineup because Westbrook is only ten thousand five hundred dollars which is absurd this is a guy that that has been 13k before he he looks healthy um, looking at watching last game um, so he looks fine, but the problem I have is that he's facing Boston, who's one of the slowest teams in in the in the league. It's a huge pace down spot for Westbrook, and obviously he thrives in those pace up games. Um, I think his minutes <coughs> are going to be capped around thirty five, thirty six. I, I doubt they would ever push him to like forty five, forty two minutes. Um, doesn't seem likely to me. Um, so I, I would rather pay up for a guy like Nikola Jokic, who really can't be guarded. Oh, and not to mention that the Celtics have one of the, like a top three defense on top of being a really slow paced team. So his upside of getting, um, a ton of, ton of boards and a ton of putbacks and just like having a ton of plays, um, it is really limited. The total opposite of that is Nikola Jokic, uh, who's on a team with 120.5 Team total per Vegas compared to to Westbrook's 107, 13 entire points. That, that means they're, they're going to be running a ton of more plays. And with Will Barton now, a lot of the plays run through purely Jokic and Gary Harris. If you watch the games, that duo is just so in sync. Um, I, I, saw, I saw this stat. I can't remember exactly what it was, but like a very high percentage of Gary Harris's shots uh, come from direct passes 
from Nikola Jokic, which which makes a ton of sense because Nikola Jokic can hang out around the outside um, of the paint. He doesn't have to be in the paint because he's so versatile. And then he just kicks it out to Gary Harris, who, as like last year, he shot like 48%, and this year is no different. He, he's been lights out all year. So that duo is a must-have for me. Those are like my locks um, on both sides, and they're both underpriced, in my opinion. Gary Harris, 7,100. Like I would be playing eight, mid-8Ks for him in this spot. 10-3 um, for Jokic. He's like an 11K player for me. Are we on DraftKings? He's only nine eight. Uh, yeah, no, I I'd pay I'd pay eleven k for him over here. In this spot, his usage is up to like twenty four percent right now, and really that's not what he what he does. Uh, that's like that's great that it's twenty four percent, but he's so active getting rebounds and assists. Uh, my bold call would be that he gets a triple double this game. He was well on his way on to getting a triple double last game, uh, before they blew out uh, blew them out, uh, blew Sacramento out. Um, I'm positive that they're not going to blow out the Lakers and I, I this game is going to end up being like 120 to like 118 or something like that somewhere in that range um, can't predict overtime but I wouldn't be surprised that's just how close I think the game's going to be um, super high pace uh, when the Nuggets are yeah like I said if when the Nuggets are in high pace games it's Jokic because no one is going to be able to defend him the Lakers struggle with Throwing out big men, they have JaVale McGee. Um, I think he's he's pretty underrated. Um, makes a lot of bonehead mistakes, but um, he can't cover Jokic um, when when he goes out why when he when he spreads the offense out. You, McGee can't cover him. And what are they gonna do? The, what they like to do is put Kuzma at the five. You think Kuzma can cover Jokic? You know, can't do that. Uh, no one's gonna be able to cover him, and no one's and like no one plays defense for the for the Lakers if the way to win today is to play like uh six players in this game especially on a four game slate so I, I like guys like Jokic um I love Gary Harris like I said um now he's going to be facing Josh Hart who was replaced who has replaced uh KCP in the starting lineup KCP's only strong suit was his defense um so now he gets a better matchup with that I think Jamal Murray is severely underpriced um, just because um, a couple of poor performances on top of the blowout um, wins for the Nuggets where his uh, his fancy points were capped. And that's why the algorithm sets him so low at only 5.9K. That's severely underpriced. Um, definitely have to look to get him in. Um, but these are the three guys I really like for Denver. Another guy I like is Torrey Craig. Um, I, he's not a very high points per uh, per dollar kind of guy, and he's not a high usage guy whatsoever. But like you saw against, um, like you saw against the Warriors, he played relatively big minutes, like almost thirty minutes. Um, at just like three, he was three point three k. I think he's three point eight k now. Um, yeah, he's three point eight k, but. You saw against the Warriors, he was just out there to defend uh, Kevin Durant. If he's out on the court, he's going to get fancy points. Not at a high rate, but he will accrue fancy points. And it's going to be the same situation against LeBron James. I think he, as long as LeBron James is out there, Torrey Craig is likely to be out there defending him because they don't really have anyone else to cover him. So I, if he reached 31, 32 minutes and scored 20-plus fantasy points, I wouldn't be surprised Not 3.8K. That's very good value, and and with no value on the slate, um, it really helps out a ton. So like stacking these four guys is a, is a great start, in my opinion. You and you look at the other side of the Lakers game. Um, it's gonna be hard for me to fit in LeBron James, but I don't think you really need to in situations like this. I think Lonzo Ball is uh, is super underpriced at six point four k. Jamal Murray isn't very good at off or at defense. Uh, Jamal Murray. And Lonzo Ball, if you know anything about the feud, um, they don't like each other. Um, teams don't like each other. And they um, they perform at like an exponential rate against each other, Lonzo Ball and Jamal Murray. Um, I saw, I can't remember what it, the exact stat, but they do um, average a lot more fancy points when they're playing each other. So I like Lonzo Ball there. I, I like Kyle Kuzma. At 7.4K, I think people are going to be scared off of that price tag, and they shouldn't be. The, the usage rate is definitely there, um, especially in this in this environment, in the pace-up spot. 
over on FanDuel. He's only 7.2K. That's obviously a must play. And I think over here on uh, DraftKings, you play Lonzo Ball and Jamal Murray. Um, I sound like a broken record, but y'all, I'm just telling you to play this game because if you're winning at the end of the night and you don't have many players in this game, you're going to lose. Uh, these other games don't really compare to this whatsoever. Um, the only thing I'm looking at in these games is Westbrook and then maybe some value if if there's any injuries that pop up. But as of right now, there are no uh, are no values. So don't try to get cute unless you're playing GPPs. But even in GPPs, I think you play the right the right call in and it's gotta be the Slakers Nuggets game. I'm gonna be playing yeah, I'm gonna be playing six or seven players from this game. Um it just kind of seems like a no brainer to me. But like I was saying, if if you guys want to ask me questions about your lineups, um, more than willing to give you guys advice. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter at Taylor Stuber. Link is in the description, or or you can go back. It's right here at Taylor Stuber. And I will make sure uh, to get back to you guys. Uh, I'm doing the, I I do this for a job, so I, I'm always here to answer questions for you guys um, as soon as I can. So until the next video. I hope you guys win tonight. Good luck. Best of luck to you guys. Um, peace.